You know, just your average girl. This is my brother Jake. He has some strong qualities. Well, I also have a younger brother, Colby. What up, fam? He's going through... Just... Okay, but my parents... This is how we're gonna spend our weekends. This is what ordinary families do. They're shockingly typical. <laughs> For the Maddens. Just your normal, wholesome, good family. Aside from wanting to take over the world, just like everybody else... We're just trying to fit in, and it's totally working. Right? Everyone just act normal! The Villains of Valley View premiere event, Friday, June 3rd on Disney Channel. Lucy, James, Jeff in Las Hi, Vegas. Lucy. Good How morning. Lucy, I love you, first of all, in the office and Shaun of the Dead. I just had to say that right off. Thank I've been you. Such a I appreciate it. Lucy football. loves Las Vegas. Yes. I, he knows that. I'm obsessed with Vegas. Oh, you got to come visit me. Okay. We'll go ahead and see I the show. I was there on my own in between Christmas and New Year. I'll just go. I used to gamble till six in the morning. <laughs> oh. Well, I don't know about that, but I'll, I'll have, we'll go have dinner or something. Like that. Oh, yeah. You can Love do the better. tourist stuff. <laughs> thank you. so, <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today on the, the villains of Valley view, which is weird because our family business has been on Valley view here in Las Vegas for over 50 years. So really? yes. So when I keep seeing the title is I keep thinking, wow, Valley view, I lived on that street near it for my whole life. So, but uh, James being the mastermind of a super villainous family, how does Vic set an example for the kids? Well, he, he, he thinks he's the mastermind of the family. He thinks he's the boss of the family. I think it's been established early on that Eva is, in fact, running the show. Uh, uh, I, like I said uh, early on, I pretty much decided that Vic is, is one of the kids. And that's part of the, part of the fun, right? The show, that, if you, going back over the years, you watch that the, dad, the parents in, in Disney shows are usually you know, not the authority figures, but we definitely are jockeying for uh, Top Banana. All of the children and me and Eva is watching from above. <laughs> and Lucy, life changes for the Maddens when Amy stands up to the League of Supervillains. The Maddens are kind of like in a supervillain uh, witness protection program, aren't they? Yeah, uh, but no one else is protecting them, <laughs> it's just them. Um, and so they come to this area, Valley View, uh, and have to fit in. So now the story, you know, the, the premise is that they have to figure out how they have to be and dress and everything in order to fit in in normal world, whatever that looks like. Um, and yeah, so that's where we begin from. We well, don't know. Well, James, the Maddens have to fit in. Why did they choose Texas as their new home? What was wrong with like Las Vegas, maybe? Yeah, uh, I think they 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 uh, made a wrong turn at Albuquerque. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they and by the time that, I mean they could have been anywhere, but by the time that their plane landed, they realized that's where they were going to have to set up shop. <laughs> and and Lucy, what are Serge's powers? Uh, she has electrical powers, so she can manipulate things electrically. Whether that's sending something electrical into someone else for maximum pain or to fix uh, something that hasn't been, that's broken down, you know what I mean? Or set a toaster on fire or whatever that is. And James, can you tell us Kraniac's powers besides being a substitute science teacher? Craniac is a is a super brain, and I can Craniac will build anything for you, and it will work. What he lacks is common sense, right? So being put into the Western world, uh, he is completely out of his element, and things go haywire instantly. If he has to if he has to order a burger, he's in big trouble. He's and that's like kind of like the chip on the old block, you know, with uh, your son who played Jake in the show. He's a super villain nerd. Right. He's a he loves education. He loves teaching. And he, he loves well, he's, science. he's actually he's actually kind of enamored with yeah. society. He's, he, he likes the idea of actually fitting yeah. in. He doesn't necessarily want to be a supervillain forever. No, no. No. And can we you both tell me that that first time you put on those costumes? I mean, the characters had to really come through. It was, I found it pretty cool. We can't breathe in it. We have to do one take on one breath. But <laughs> <laughs> however, I I found I think our out 
bits are really cool too, James. Yours especially. Yeah. Well, they're all amazing. They they took forever to make. I mean, and they they cost about the same as you know a, a, a luxury vehicle. And and uh, but by the time they were done, and you they, they, they yes, I mean you feel like you could take on the world. Same guys who do Star Wars. Same guys who do the Mandalorian. Yeah, it is. You know? We had to have that um, the three hundred and sixty degree photographs taken where you stand in the exact position. You. Da, 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 da. Yeah. And then yeah. it'll go, I think it's something like 480 cameras at once take a photo of you. Yeah. And you're in your underwear. <laughs> yeah, that was the fun bit for me. <laughs> yeah. So that sounds bad. You know who went in before me? John Cena. <laughs> so I was like, thanks. It, as if this couldn't get any worse. <laughs> well, congratulations on a wonderful show. And uh, it's going to be a huge hit because it's so much fun. And you guys are wonderful in it. Thanks for joining me. And uh, um, We'll see you both in Las Vegas, okay? Come visit us. Yes, sir. We appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you.